Monday, November 29th, and guess what? My birthday is tomorrow! Yay! I'm excited, I think. Not really, actually, because I'm not at home, and so I don't get to really do anything for my birthday. I'm just gonna... The only thing that's great about tomorrow is I don't have class, but I've got a lot of work to do, so it's kind of like a catch-22 here. Anywho, I don't think I had any questions this week, so I'm not going to answer anything, because I don't want to have to go check. I'll just take a punishment if I did. Thanksgiving, it was nice. I went to Tampa, and I had Thanksgiving with my mom's father and stepmother so my step grandmother and her family and her family was kind of crazy but you know it was a nice thanksgiving her sister actually gave everybody you know lottery cards like scratch off lottery cards and i won 25 bucks i mean that was pretty awesome on friday i was with my grandmother my my mother's mother and we kind of just had leftover thanksgiving food which was really nice because i still i really like thanksgiving food and that was cool, but then Friday night, my dad and my brother hadn't seen Harry Potter yet, and so we all went and saw it, and I saw it for the second time, and I, it was just even more awesome the second time. I can't even describe it. And I mean, even though I knew what was gonna happen, like, oh, it was just, I wanted to cry like the entire movie. It was just so beautiful. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm an emotional Harry Potter fanatic. Deanna, 89, we're gonna get you up to at least a 95. So Saturday, <laughs> Saturday I went and I saw Matthew O'Donnell's Irish musical. And okay, it was nice. The music was really nice and Matthew played in the band so I was like, yay Matthew. And the harmony of all the actors, the singers, it was really nice, they had really nice harmony. But, it, okay, it didn't really have a plot. And Matthew even said that it was kind of just an excuse to sing Irish music. And the audience could really see that. I mean, I heard this one guy saying, I don't even know who the main character is. And I mean, that's kind of true because mostly it was just a whole bunch of Irish drinking songs. And they were nice and they were played nice and they were sung nice. But there was little to no dialogue and there was like, you know, 30 second breaks in between different Irish music chants. But it was nice, you know? That was nice. Uh, my question is, it's kind of earlier for this or whatever, but what are you gonna be doing for Christmas break? Cause I mean, I've got finals for the next two weeks and then I go home for three weeks and then I'm back at school. But what are you gonna do for your Christmas break? I'm probably just gonna be at home. 